For this project, I'm going to check out all the fun things you can do with AI art. If you happen to be a designer, graphic designer, or just dabbling in it, uh, they've come so far. But it helped me last week doing some um, hero images for someone that needed a lot done. This is for a murder mystery dinner theater company. And between AI art and some free fonts, you can get a lot done and really pay zero money. Well, I use Midjourney, so I have to pay the monthly fee. But other than that, it can, you can do a lot with it. Okay, let's just start off with the first one. I have a title here. It's called Blood is Thicker Than Wine. And the font, it's just standard font. What did I use? Uh, Kimmel font, it's called. Nothing special. But the background is a wine glass. And I said, uh, you know, I think... I think I used, I avoided the word blood because you really can't use the word blood for mid-journey or most of these places. They're very sensitive about um, violence or violent things. Um, but you can use paint. So I said, you know, spilled red paint with a wine glass on a wooden table, and there you go. I think we used a little bit of Adobe's filters to move this wine bottle inward a little. Um, I had to place a wine bottle in the background because it was too far out and it worked great. So moving on to the next one. So the next one is a wild western show and uh, it's called Gravestone Shot Down at the K.O. Corral and I wanted a cowboy figure here in the background and that's pretty much what Mid Journey did after quite a few attempts. Uh, the idea was to have a gun in each hand however Mid Journey is really bad. Most of them are really bad with firearms. I can understand but it's sort of, I don't know, I think they're being too uh, opinionated on that kind of stuff. Just let people do what they want to do. So for whatever reason, they're not good. The gun, other gun actually was too long, shorten it up. But getting a gun in this guy's hand was really, really tough. So eventually just gave up and let it go at a hand. Um, even doing in-painting really didn't work very well. It was just, it was just bad. It just could not do it. So had to kind of give up on that task. This one was one of our favorites. This was called uh, Mystery of the Maltese Crow, kind of like a take on Maltese Vulcan. And I would say probably a good half hour went into this one. Um, many, many images were created, which it said a statue of a crow. So this was the idea of a statue, and it worked pretty well. The fedora wasn't here originally. Um, the background was, the window was smaller. So Adobe, um, Gen AI art for that, um, the hat, I think Adobe as well, and that just took many, many, ver every time we tried to put it in, we'd put like a pink bird or uh, like an orange uh, orange uh, metallic ball, uh, shiny ball. It was just insane. So some of the stuff just takes rev after rev, and there are things you eventually have to give up. Uh, yeah, I did add more of the window here and extra pane, so it did a good job with that, but uh, some of the stuff, you just have to do it over and over. And But in the end... I'm really happy with it. The font was modeled after a 1940s poster, so uh, that was kind of a nice treat. For space, a lot of revs in mid-journey for that, uh, kind of a spaceship. Uh, didn't really tell about the exploding, but it kind of did that. Um, tough to get that one down. And Murder in Space, the font is the TNG font, which you can get on, I think, defonts.com. So great resource for fonts. I put this up there because it's a reminder of the kind of the old days when people um, had to do it all by hand because this was done in the middle at least. I found the background. But it, yeah, this was no AI art at all. This was done a couple about four years ago. But they did a great job. So if you had, if you got a good designer, in the end, it just reminded me that a good designer, you really got to have. Uh, and I've moved that over. Okay. But on the other hand, these do still take a designer. Um, the person kind of guiding it all had just a lot of requests and, and he knew what he wanted. So this went through many, many rounds of kind of you know, trial and error and live Zoom sessions. So we definitely spent some time on this one. Uh, the Pirates, uh, this is modeled after the Pirates of the Caribbean font. Uh, you can get that font online. And uh, yeah, so a, a pirate. And everybody was modeled here individually. Um, so it's tough to, really tough to get a group of people together the way you want it. You kind of have to go individually for this kind of stuff. But if you know what you want and kind of can get the same style out of it, it uh, works pretty well. So a lot of work on this one again and, and a bit of post-editing and Photoshop. The ship in the background is also does a pretty easy job for some of that stuff. Funny, it was very tough to get to put in paint a pirate hat. It's like it does a good job if you say the person is wearing a pirate hat from the original, but if you're using in painting in Photoshop or mid-journey, it's just somehow it does not do a good job. It looks like a costume Halloween hat from a six-year-old birthday party. This is one of my favorite ones. This was a murderous matrimony till death do us part. But the cake, it did the cake without a problem. And um, the figurines, one of the figurines kind of fighting on the top. That was 
couldn't get that to happen. Yeah, yeah. Many tries for that, that just would not happen. So gave up on that. Um, knives are an interesting thing. It's really tough to get uh, a good knife and they're kind of sensitive. I think you cannot do that in Photoshop. Um, I don't think it likes the word at all. But in Midjourney, you can create a separate knife and I just made one and kind of overlapped it there, added a little trickle of blood. I did that myself, so I didn't have to worry about the rules, but I think it turned out okay. Another one where... Yeah, Midjourney kind of took care of everything. Uh, astrology can be deadly. Murders in the stars. Got the crystal ball there and astrology background. Um, actually, the background for astrology is not Midjourney. That's probably clip art somewhere because, yeah, anything with words on it is not going to do a good job. Font sort of, I think, from defont.com. Um, yeah, this one didn't take too long, but still a bit of work. Another one of my favorites, Funeral for a Gangster. This is a mafia type font. Might even be called Mafia. And the gangster sitting there on the chair. Mid Journey, they did a good job with that. I like the, it's been used for several things. Bullet holes were from a clip art place, and there you go. This one actually uses a Mid Journey background, and the foreground is uh, people, yeah, some cast from a previous show. So that's actually a photo of some people. Although there was, it was a kind of collage. It's probably two or three different photos there to kind of put together. And then it's just kind of reflecting. The clouds were done in uh, Mid Journey, and the font. I don't know if it's a special font, but it kind of just mimics uh, whatever Downton Abbey used. Now for this one, murder by numbers, one, two, three. Bingo, impossible to get a bingo card in uh, Mid Journey, and impossible to even get bingo balls with numbers on it. Just does a terrible job still with numbers or letters, so that was uh, from some clip art or someplace. Yeah, basically there's almost no, I don't think there's any AI art there at all. It all had to be done hand. So sometimes you have to just go back to the old fashioned way. And finally, for Sea of Love, uh, the ship is AI art. You can kind of see that it just has, uh, you cannot tell the name of the ship there because it's a mess, but some ocean liner. And the font was basically the Love Boat font. Found that on defonts.com. Uh, it's always called under a different name, so you kind of have to be creative when you look for the fonts and search around for many pages. But uh, there you go. There it is some. Uh, AI art you can do with Mid Journey, and if you've got a purpose for it, it helps so much because then, I don't know, it makes the, the cost worth it because otherwise when you're just doing it as a hobby, you can run out of ideas and then you're not using it at all. So it was good to have, uh, yeah, some use for it. And uh, I was happy with the project, but it probably was about 20 hours to make all of these. So that's it for now. Cheers.